Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a everything else declutter. <laughs> After doing lipsticks, palettes, brushes, cheek products, I want to go through the rest of my collection including powders, foundation, concealers, tinted moisturizer, mascara, primers, everything that's here including eyeliners and lip liners um, to finish up my declutter and take a look at everything that's around and uh, yeah i would say let's get started with what is right here in front of me i have two eyeshadow primers that are almost done i'm not gonna declutter these but i want to finish them this one is the mac 24 hour x and i base and this one was a gift from mariam um here on youtube and uh she wanted me to test it because she uh, has a really good experience with this not making eyeshadows crease and i've been waiting to finish my own milani one to test that so i'm gonna finish these two in the near future i have two pressed powders in use currently actually three but one of them is not here uh, this is the nabla pressed powder and it's part of my project pen and you can see how I think I might see pan eventually. I like it, so I don't mind at all, and I'm definitely gonna keep it. I have the MAC Studio Fix powder. I barely use this, but sometimes it's nice to have a powder with a little bit of coverage. This is NC25. Um, yeah, I wouldn't know. Um, I, I can live without it, but I like to have a powder that has a little bit of coverage, and it's the only one I have that does this, so I'm gonna keep this one if i pull out the other powders in my collection they're right here i have the Too faced peach perfect loose powder and i think it's the time that i'm gonna declutter this <laughs> i barely used it there's so much still in here i'm never gonna get through it um, you can see how much is in there and uh, it's huge and it's matte and that's not completely my look right now it's really mattifying and i prefer something that is more natural looking like the Nabla one. So I am going to declutter the Peach Perfect one. Um, then I have a mini of the Laura Mercier loose setting powder. I'm keeping this one. I have a mini of the Neve Cosmetics Hollywood powder. This one is super nicely mattifying and this mini is enough for me. And then I have a mini of the Hourglass Veil translucent powder. And this one is still in its box because it was a gift with purchase or a gift for an event. And I'm gonna keep this. So I'm gonna keep these three powders. I can put this one here. The other one is gonna be in my everyday drawer. While we're here, let's go through concealers. I have the NYX Dark Circle Corrector. It's the only corrector I have. I have used it a little bit, not a lot. But I'm gonna keep it because it's the only corrector that I have. Um, I have the Nabla uh, close-up concealer in the shade Golden Beige. This is too dark for me and I am going to declutter it finally because I kept it to mix in or stuff like that, but I don't use it. So I'm going to declutter this one. It's pretty much new. I have the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 20 Sand. Um, I've opened this only to swatch it to do some comparisons, but I want to keep it and use it up. I have it... Um, it has no value to resell, let's say. I'm just gonna keep it to use it up. I have the Sephora Make No Mistake High Coverage Concealer. I don't know, um, let me see. So this one I bought because it is high coverage and a little bit denser. It's not for under the eyes, but more for like blemishes and things like that. But I don't know, I haven't used it in a very long time and maybe someone else could get some, it's super high coverage uh, get some use out of it and this is in the shade six coriander so i'm gonna declutter that one let me see what other concealers do i have around i have the new nars soft matte complete concealer in marron glacé light 2.8 this one i purchased during black friday definitely not getting rid of that one and here i have the clio makeup Oh my love concealer, I have I have the shade 06. I like this and I'd like to finish it. I dare to say I'm only down here and I've used it a lot. So I'm keeping that one for sure. And I'm also keeping the Fenty Beauty uh, Bright Fix Eye Brightener in Butter 05. It's a nice lightweight 
uh, concealer for the summer. So I'm keeping that one as well. And that actually brings down my concealers to like one backup, three in use. That sounds really good, actually. Then let's uh, move on. Uh, let's take a look at mascaras. These two are the ones that I have in use right now and they're almost finished. So um, I'm just gonna finish them and then I am left with my backup mascara drawer right here. I have a backup of the Sky High mascara, which I'm using now and I really like. And I have a backup of uh, my previous fa favorite, the Lash Sensational uh, by Maybelline, both by Maybelline, both Lash Sensational, but this one is the Sky High. Love these both, I'm keeping them. Um, this one was sent to me by Yes Style. It, I don't like it. The, it just doesn't do anything to my lashes. There's a first impressions on this on my channel and uh, I'm gonna toss it right now. There it goes. Um, here, I they also sent me from your style a yellow mascara, but I also have the ColourPop one. And to be honest, this one is a little bit shiny. I don't understand um, it very well. And um, I'm gonna keep the the Colourpop one because I know I like it and it works for me. So the other one is gone. And here I have from Colourpop, yeah. I don't know if are, these are even like dried out. I'll still, I'll need to use them, but try them rather, but I haven't used them in a very long time. And then I also have the white mascara from Colourpop. So these two I'm keeping with these two backups and the two that I'm using. That feels like the right amount of mascara to have. Moving on to concealers, not to concealers, <laughs> moving on to foundations and tinted moisturizers. I have the box of my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. That can go. Because the tinted moisturizer is here, it's in use. Um, I had purchased this one actually on Vinted and it's this way all the way to here full um so it was really a great deal and i use it i like it it stays into my everyday little thing here i have the essie lauder double wear light in intensity 2. this one is discontinued and it was the old formulation i tried it recently it doesn't work for me anymore it's not the type of look that i want and I'm just gonna throw it away. I was trying to finish it for my project pan, but the shade is off and um, I don't like the finish on my skin, so I'm just gonna toss it. Very sad, but um, maybe I'll see if Maria wants it. I know she was <laughs> really sad for the departure of this formula. I have a mini of the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer, the oil-free version, so I'm gonna, it's new, unopened, I'm gonna keep that. This is in 2W1 Natural, just like the regular one. Um, the, this one right here that I showed you, this one is the regular normal tinted moisturizer, and I believe they also have an illuminating one. This is a backup of the Nabla Close-Up Foundation in the shade L50. It's closed, so I'll keep it here and keep it to use. Um, here in my everyday, I have actually something that needs to go back in the drawer. This is the Dior Backstage Foundation. The shade is 2WP. And I worked down to this sign right here during my project pan this year. And now it's a bit too dark for me. So I'm gonna pull it out again next year in the spring and use it. But I love it, so I'm keeping it. Just going back. Does it fit? No. Just going back in the drawer for now. Then what do I have in use? The Essie Lauder Double Wear Regular, and it's really, really low. I want to finish it this uh, season, this winter season, so I'm keeping that one to finish. And then I have my Fenty Beauty Ease Drop in the shade 5. I thought I bought it this summer and it was too light for me, and now it actually fits me perfectly in terms of shades. So I'm very happy and I'm using it a lot. It doesn't last the longest on me, but I'm using it a lot. Then let's move on to primers. I have two here. Um, one is the Bamboo Matte and one is the Burberry Illuminating Primer that have been in my project pan and I really wanna finish them. So um, yeah, the Illuminating one is down to here, I wanna say. <laughs> this is the lowest marking that I have. So there's still some to go, but I mean, I used a ton. Um, it was down to here um, the last time I checked. So I think I can, uh, finish it especially in combination with this this is usually where I use them 
and I think I want to finish both of them. I don't really use primer, so what I do is actually mix those two in the foundation to make it sheer, and um, it works well for me. Um, other primers, they're up here in this drawer, which I will pull out for ease of visual visualization. I can't speak. <laughs> um, I have the Paula's Choice Shine Stopper Instant Matte Finish, and I haven't tried this yet. I um, got it as a gift, and I really want to try it. Um, the oil control and like soup shine stopper and with micro sponge technology really appeals to me. So I really want to try it. I have the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I haven't tried it yet. I think I should. I'm going to try it first, maybe when I finish the others. And I think that's the only face primers that I have left. Maybe I can put them with my foundations down here. And then what I have here is eye and lip primers, I believe. I have a Fenty Beauty closed eye primer that I am planning on using. So I'm keeping that there. I have the ABH eye primer, which I use when I need to make cut creases, which is once a year maybe, but it's a nice light primer. So I like to use it and I'm gonna keep it. I have the Neve Cosmetics Rujada Per Makeup. This is a mixing medium and eye base. I haven't used it in a while, but I have always been happy to use it as a mixing medium. So I'm keeping that one. I have the NYX Glitter Glue that uh, is always good to have, or Glitter Primer. I'm keeping that one too. Um, this one is the Neve Cosmetics Lipstick Creative Potion and Gloss. I haven't used this one. I don't think I am that creative. So you should mix it with lip safe pigments to create custom colored lipsticks and lip glosses. Oh, that sounds like... I should give it to Faces by Gina on Instagram. She loves to mix her own makeup and she does an amazing job with like um, her cheek products especially. So um, I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's not something that I use. It's pointless for me to keep, hold on to it. Same thing with the Kiko lip base. I never used it and it's probably expired. So I'm gonna throw that out. I have some mini... Uh, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion I want to keep. Many hours later and with a completely different lighting, but it's evening now or late afternoon. There's two more face um, primers actually. One is the Perfecting White Charcoal Mattifying Treatment Primer by Posha. Skin Balancing Treatment Primer. Apply onto cleansed moisturized skin. I have no idea. I think this is even sealed. No, it's not. It's a mini, but I never used it. Um, I think I'm gonna declutter this. I'm, I'm not gonna use it. And same with the poor fashion. I'm just gonna actually throw it away. Um, this is very old. And this I'm gonna declutter. On this other half, I actually have lip treatments. I have a um, lip scrub, cherry bomb lip scrub by Frank and Boyd. I'm gonna declutter this one. Um, it's new in its box. I hope someone else can use it because, um, I don't know, first of all, I don't like cherry flavor in my things and um, yeah, as you can see, I'm full of lip products uh, that are lip scrubs that I don't use. So this one will be gone. This uh, uh, is the Biofficina Toscana Luscious Lip Scrub. Did I open this? I tried it, I think. Um, I'm gonna keep this one because I remember buying it for a reason. I also have a backup of my e.l.f. Oh wow, of my e.l.f. lip scrub. It's my favorite lip scrub because it's in a tube. It's really easy to apply. It's new. Apparently this one came off. Hmm, that works better. Um, I'm gonna keep this one too. I have an old open e.l.f. lip scrub, which is actually kind of finished. So this one will go in the trash because it's finished. And back here, I also have a few more lip products. I have my um, Desiem Coconut Milk um, lip products from the brand, what was it? Um, Petro Watt, it was the brand. And I'm using this on my project pan. I wanted it gone, I don't love it. And it was supposed to be a dupe for the one by Glossier, but to be honest, I don't like it. It's very, very thin. I'm actually gonna apply some now. It's very, very um, thin jelly type. 
and I don't know, it just doesn't do anything. It goes away very, very quickly from my uh, lips. So I can't wait to finish this one. Then I have the Elemis Lip Revive, which um, I want to use after the um, the other one is finished. So I'm gonna keep this in here. I have many more lip balms around the house, but these are the ones that live here. And looking at this, it's very, very empty. Um, let's continue with the, this box that I found in my drawers. I have a sample size or a deluxe sample size of the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is almost finished. I would like to finish it. Maybe I'll use it tomorrow that I have a work Christmas event. I have the e.l.f. Makeup Lock and Seal. This is 10 years old, I think. I'm gonna throw it away. Still liquid. I think it's a mixing medium. And then in here I have three Kiko uh, tiny uh, sharpeners. These are from their uh, brow product, brow pencils that I used to love. And you got one at each time you um, bought a new one. But I'm gonna throw them away. They don't fit normal pencils. It's only for those very skinny pencils. And I still have a sample or a small size of the House of Lashes eyelash adhesive. But to be honest, I think this one is dried out. Oh, look, <laughs> it's so cool. It just came off from the sides. It's completely dried out. So I'm gonna throw that away. And inside of this Rimmel ginormous sharpener, I'm keeping just in case I have big things to sharpen. It hasn't been the case for a long time little spatula and wait, there's a sample, I guess, of Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in 2.5 and Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I have quite a few other samples of foundations and to be honest, I usually just try them and write down if I like the foundation uh, for a future purchase. Oh, actually this one's opened. Well, so this one will go in the trash and this one is not open. Um, I might keep it to try. We'll see. Oh, that's better. So now this box is empty. I have a few things in my everyday makeup drawer that I wanted to look at. One is the Catrice Lash Glue and this one is the more recent one that I decided to purchase after my, um, my House of Lashes one finished. The regular transparent one. I'm gonna keep this one. It's so much cheaper and for the amount that I use uh, false lashes, it's perfectly fine. Might wear it tomorrow for my work event. I have the Glam Shop Glam Glue. They sent me this, but I love it. I would repurchase it as a um, glitter glue once I finish the other 25 that I have. But uh, it's a really good one and I love that it's in a doe foot. I usually uh, put it on my fingers and then apply it on my eye so that the doe foot stays approximately clean. You can see it's already a little bit hazy, but I really love this one. A lip pencil by Colourpop that was in my project pan. A little spoolie that I use for my soap brows. And here I have the Stress Check Roll-On by This Works. Haven't used this in forever, but the idea is that you then add it to your, I don't know, environment and the smell of lavender will calm down. There's other things in here. It says roll on to pulse points, enjoy the scent and unwind. So I just need to put it somewhere where I'll actually use it. <laughs> Maybe in my work, on my work desk. That could work better than in here. And uh, the final thing in here is, as I was saying, a ton of samples of foundations. Um, this one I, I used and I liked, Bare Minerals, Bare Pro, primers, lots of primers. All of these are primers and this is a foundation and there's more foundations I see running or walking around my desk. Ooh. I'd like to finish them, but I wear, I wear makeup to then actually have it look good for over the, the time. So I don't know if it makes sense. We will see what to do about those. I'll think about something. But it's been like a year that I've been meaning to do something about it. Anyways, here I have some other makeup bits. Here are some sponges, mini sponges by Real Techniques. This was a some weird shaped one by Real Techniques, the original, a new one, and the mini beauty blender. You guys, I don't really use sponges, so I'd like to keep some, but I see there's more here and I think these, because they're they're new, I'm gonna pass them along. I think this one I use, but I'll make sure to clean it again and I'm gonna pass them along, um, whoever wants them, because they're new and I don't use them. I might keep the small beauty blender or one of, maybe one of these, because I like the size, and then pass these along. 
Um, and here I have the original Beauty Blender and I don't like it. It is so soft and squishy, too much. It has too much give. Um, the um, Real Techniques one, that they've changed it and it's actually quite firm nowadays. And then I have the Glam Shop one, which I really liked. So um, do I need all three? No, I think I'll toss the Beauty Blender and keep uh, these two right here. Um, puffs from powders and stuff that um, I can probably toss. <laughs> these are from two MAC powders, I think. This is from Studio Fix and this might be from the Blot powder that I don't have here, but it's in my purse. So I'll toss these, I guess, or see if someone wants them. Um, Real Techniques little uh, tweezers just to pick out stuff. This is a lash curler. It's the only lash curler that works for me because I have small and hooded eyes and they just, the normal ones are just too big for my eyes. So I'm keeping this one. The uh, Linda Hallberg powder puff. I should try to use this one more. I don't know. And uh, a beloved Inglo Duraline. Definitely love this one and definitely keeping this one as well. Maybe I'll actually just put everything back in here. And uh, what is this? Like a lash applicator of sorts. Little cotton bud with some <laughs> nail polish. Anyone else, like if you only use this much of a cotton swab, just keep it for nail polish so that uh, I don't waste the whole cotton swab. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But that is better. And then we have this packet right here, this box right here. I have two samples of the Too Faced Glitter Glue. Eventually I'll use them. Uh, some brow products. I have the ColourPop uh, Clear Feather Effect Styling Wax. I'm quite disappointed with this one in the sense that I thought it would be a standalone product, but instead you need to use water, just like you need to do for soap brows. And to be honest, I think I like soap brows better. It works as well, um, and, and it's fine, this one, but I don't need another one if I, I like soap brows. So I'm gonna declutter this one. Then as I said, soap brows, I like it, and I'm gonna keep using it. I used to use a random, normal, transparent, um, clear soap before, and it worked as well. I have these little spoolies from um, Beauty Bay, I believe, from their brand, that I use as well. There's more in my drawers. My Kiko sharpener that is 15 years old. My two Always On Cream Shadow by Smashbox. I have the shade Sepia and Olive. I like sepia more than olive, but these are the only ones that last on my eyes. And um, yeah, I made a whole video comparing uh, sepia to one from the Nissamarix. So I'll link it here if I remember. And uh, talking about things that don't last, I also have tried a Vive eye wand in the shade Hazelnut. And it's beautiful, it blends great, but it doesn't last on my eyes, not even with a primer underneath. So I'm decluttering this one. Unfortunately, it's literally, I don't know, a week old, <laughs> but I've tried it, I've tested it, and it doesn't work for me. I am keeping my um, Smashbox ones though. I really like them and they work really well. Uh, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Promet in Chocolate. It's a part of my project pan. I actually, I'm gonna continue using it until it's finished. Tweezers, just in case, my little Inglot magnet, a nail file, because you never know. And then I have two brow pens. Um, this is my favorite from Lime Crime. I love it, I want to finish it and then buy a new one. This one from uh, Colourpop is not as good. The tip is felt instead of a brush and it's a bit shorter and it doesn't actually write as much. However, there's very, very little product in here, so I think I'm gonna try to finish it. The Colourpop Brow Gel, this is uh, just the brow gel in the shade Dark Brown. I'm liking it, I use it um, quite happily. The Clear Brow Gel by ABH, uh, this is a mini size that I've had, I'm happy to use it and I wanna finish it. This is the Mulek Eyebrow in the shade number three, Perfect Brown. I do not like this one at all. Um, it's just not, 
it's not what I wanted it to be. I thought it was a dip brow pomade in a with a brush, but the brush is really thick. You cannot really apply it, and you need to apply it with a with your own brush. So I want to declutter it, but I only will if I manage to sell it because I used it a few times and it's new. So um, I'll either sell it or keep using it. Um, we will see. And then the Glam Shop Eyebrow Pencil number three. They sent this one to me and I actually really like it. Oh, wrong side. It is a very fine eyebrow pencil. Uh, it's quite cool toned for me, but it works very well. It's quite firm of a formula and I can really draw lines, uh, like little hair strokes on my brows. So I like this one. I'm gonna keep it and try to finish it. And we talked about mascaras. So brow sharpener. And that is that. There is one final drawer up here that I, um, let's call it the wishful thinking drawer. So here I have my liners and pigments that I think I will use when I will ever, I don't know, do something cool with my makeup again. One of them is this Nabla Dazzle Liner in Klimt. Um, this is a legend, discontinued, it was limited edition and unfortunately I'm afraid it's dead. It's so dry. Ah, so bad. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful duochrome gold liner, but it, it is no more. I was afraid this was gonna happen, but I also wasn't using it, but I didn't want to throw it away because it's beautiful and it was limited edition. Now I can because it's dried out. These Kiko liners I haven't touched in years. Um, they might also be dried out. I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh no, these are perfect. Oh my God. Yeah, still liquid, but I haven't touched them in years. So I think they should go, especially the purple one. I mean, oh, this is very pretty, like silver glitter or white glitter. I might keep this one actually. Uh, this is what happens every single time when I touch these. I'm like, oh, they're so pretty and I keep them. Then I have uh, these Neve Cosmetics liners. Um, that they're they're not great and they're dried out so i'm gonna throw them out these were uh, beautiful colors but the brush really isn't that nice it's very thick and I, you can't really get a precise thin line and the formula was always quite thick so i'm gonna throw these out i have neve cosmetics ticket which is one of my favorite pigments it is a beautiful like shimmery almost glittery orange Gorgeous. I'm gonna keep that one. This is a newer one for me. This is Glam Shop Polar and uh, I showed you a, a swatch on Instagram and on my Glam Shop on maybe my last Glam Shop swatch party It's gorgeous. I should just either press it or use it more. These are two reflects from uh, TKB trading that I put in these little sifters. I'm gonna keep them You can mix them into pigments or just use them with a glitter glue I have my favorite burgundy eyeshadow, which is Fondente. Look at that color. I tried pressing this down and it broke in a thousand pieces, so I kept it as a loose powder, but I wish I could find a pressed version of this. I wish Neve made the pressed version of this. They make brush shadows. So this one is from Blush Tribe and it was a gift. Um, it's called Mina Hill and it's a loose pigment. And I never tried it, or like I swatched it, but I never used it on my eyes. Look at how beautiful that is. I wish I could, I, I think I should actually try to, um, uh, I don't know, press it maybe? Oh, there we have some more. Oh, the sparkle is real. And it's a beautiful like pink, copper and gold. Duochrome, multi-chrome, duochrome. It reminds me of something from Davina Cosmetics. Maybe Centaurus? I don't know, but it's gorgeous and I think I should try to press it. I'll throw away the box though. And uh, I have my Inglot liner that, you <laughs> um, that if I do wing liner, this is what I use. And I did in my uh, recent throwback makeup video. Um, I like it, I use Duraline on it and it's still good. And uh, this is a black rouge glitter liner that I got gifted from Yes Style. However, I don't know if I wanna keep it. 
I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful glitter liner, but it's the wrong colors for me. Like it's dark um, grays and um, yeah, no, I think I'm gonna pass this along. It's new. Um, so that actually made it much more manageable and also made my whole tower here quite empty. I don't know what to throw in here that would make sense because this one doesn't sit on my uh, desk. It's more of a backup drawer. Um, I'll have to think about it. For those of you who are staying even after so long, the final section of my declutter is going to be my eyeliners and lip liners. Let's start with eyeliners. This small thing here contains my favorites and the ones that I use regularly and maybe also my most recent ones. Let's see if I can get some more light in here for the colors. Yes, so uh, favorite is the Nabla Cupid's Arrow number two. Gorgeous, love it definitely gonna keep it i i use a ton of it um it's blendable it lasts well then these are the um makeup geek full spectrum eyeliners that they sent me where is it here um these are the um uh, reformulated ones uh from plumeria i have two i have the new one and the old one i'm gonna pass along the old one and keep the new one the color is very similar and um yeah, I like it. It's a nice burgundy. More on the berry side. Then my two favorite Neve Cosmetics ones are Dagger and Night. And I think they're both discontinued, so I'm going to cry when I finish them. Um, beautiful, more, more of a khaki green and more of a forest green. Then I have a nude. Oh, this is still again from the Makeup Geek ones. These are two from Colourpop, from the collaboration with uh, Rob Beauty Christy. And they're spare thyme and like the herb and uh, marigold like them both keeping them this one here is the nyx faux black and burnt sienna um this is quite old uh, but i thought it was dried out instead it isn't so i'm keeping that one as well i kind of want to finish it actually because it's so small and here instead i have a bunch of others so um for example, I saw I have at least a few more of the Makeup Geek ones that they sent because there's a few colors that I don't use on a regular basis. Um, here it is, the purple and the gray. Um, keeping those, I really like them. And then I have uh, a mint from their old um, line and I really like this one, so I'm keeping it. I have the neon liners from Colourpop and the only question here is whether they still work or they dried out but I really like um, these for a pop of color of neon in the waterline in the summer they seem to all be okay they're quite um, dry of a formula to start with these neons they weren't their best formulations but they're all good so I'm gonna keep them some more Colourpop these are older ones in their old um packaging oh there's even a white do i need two white liners probably not the white is more recent and um is this one and then i have the white from makeup geek which actually looks like it performs less well i'll have to test these and compare them um, at some point oh these always break um but it, they're totally usable so this is a gold this is a brighter yellow the yellow i lose a, i use a ton so i'm definitely keeping that one um and it's different than the one from the um, raw beauty Cresty collection because that one's more of a like orangey one it reminds me a lot of a lot of chickadee by makeup geek that single shadow um there's a copper oh so gorgeous there's a like a forest green. I think I'm going to just keep them all because as long as they still work, this is a lavender. Whoa. One. Oh, this one's dried out, so this one can go. And finally, the silver. At some point, I was. Oh, that was so creamy. I was collecting them all. 
what do we have left? This is the Nabla Cupizarro number one. And to be honest, uh, this one I don't like. It doesn't work for me. The color doesn't work for me. It doesn't work on my lips. It doesn't work as an eyeshadow base. It doesn't do much in defining. So I'm going to declutter this one. Hope someone will have some use out of it. This is my black base. This is Burberry eye color contour that was gifted to me by my friend Julia and I haven't done a black smoky eyes all years but but if I want to I have something my black liner of choice is this Wycan long lasting eyeliner and it's still working great so I'm keeping that one now this Kiko one is a beautiful purple but I haven't used it all year so I'm thinking I'm gonna pass this one along in terms of from the same collection, there's this blue one that is quite dry, so I'm gonna toss that one. Uh, more Kiko, this is a brown. I use this one a ton, but it's also quite dry, so I'm gonna toss that one. A teal from Kiko. Uh, this one is much creamier and also one of my favorites, by the way, so I'm gonna put it among things that I use more, because how does it compare to the Oh, see, the Makeup Geek one is much more blue, whereas the Kiko one is more teal. And the Makeup Geek has an ultramarine, but it looks much lighter, yes. So, happy with that. For blues, I also have the Neve Cosmetics one, which uh, seems to work fine once you warm it up. Um, a nude from Nabla. This is their nude one. I need to sharpen it, it looks like. Still works fine. And then I have so many nudes that I really don't use. This one from um, Kiko still works well and it's like a warmer shade. I like it better than the Nabla one in terms of color. A full black in a dark gray color. I think I'm gonna pass this one along. I don't need dark gray liners. Um, this one is a shiny gray. Um, this is from Yves Rocher. I think I might keep that one because it's cool. <laughs> Um, this is one of my favorites, Catrice Liquid Metals. It is a beautiful, beautiful um, teal shimmer. I remember the day Meg tried to sharpen it and it still works fine. So keeping that one, love it. This is a, like a sky blue from a limited edition of Kiko. I'm going to keep it just because I don't have anything in this color. It's gorgeous. A shimmery brown from essence still works great and a beautiful shade looks like i'm keeping all of these this one is like a peachy shade from neve cosmetics i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but i'm keeping it uh faux white from nyx in honeydew this is like a minty very very light mint um, this is new from Sephora. This is the shade 13. It's a matte brown. I'm gonna pass this one along because I'm not gonna use it and I don't want to open it. This is faux black in oxblood and it's beautiful, beautiful red. Keeping that one as well. This one is from Yes Style. It's a black liner. And it's super creamy and nice. So I'm gonna keep it. And this is a Maybelline shimmery uh, purple which is really nice and a orange kiko one i mean when am i gonna use these colors on my eyes nobody knows another orange from yves rocher also beautiful more orange the other one's more red keeping all of those and the last thing i have is this mini stila stay all day waterproof eyeliner and I am afraid it's dried out yes so I'm gonna have to toss this one I don't use liner so I was keeping this mini um, as the only liquid liner that I have but now it's gone which makes sense are we gonna do the lip liners as well you guys are you here for it let me remove brushes I divided them a bit by brand, uh, but maybe I should have done it by color. I don't know. I have a ton of brown liners. Um, Neve Cosmetics, Stay at Home, 
they made a whole uh, launch with different brown liners and I bought these two, stay at home and then not today. These can be used on eyes and lips and as well as just as um, lipsticks. So they're very nice. From MAC, I have Chestnut that is a brown. Oh, what a beautiful, what a beautiful brown. Keeping that one for sure. And then from ColourPop, I have a bunch of browns as well. This one is BFF4. It's, it's so similar though, my God. I think I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of MAC because I kind of like how soft these uh, ColourPop ones are. This is Control by ColourPop. Oh my God, they look exactly the same. BFF4 is actually a little bit more neutral, so I'm gonna keep control and get rid of BFF4. And then this one is BFF3, which is clearly a very loved one uh, because it's a little bit lighter, so I use it to contour my lips. I'm gonna keep that one for sure. Any more browns? This is a Nabla one called Nude 3, which is a lighter brown. I like this one, definitely keeping it. And I guess I'm going to keep these two. I might actually get rid of not today. Ah! Everything is falling. And I'm going to keep stay at home. Then, an easy one to keep for MAC. This is Fire Roasted of the Liptensity Lipsticks. This I wore at my wedding. And it's a beautiful warm red lip liner. Then also Pat McGrath Living Legend is staying. I got this in a set last year. Gorgeous color. Um, from MAC, I also have Night Moth, which I haven't used in ages. It's a very deep liner, but I like it for using it when there's like deeper shades. This is Witch by Neve, which is a purple um, that I use actually as a dark purple uh, lipsticks, but it's quite bright and saturated. I really like this one. Same goes for uh, Trance by uh, Neve Cosmetics. This was gifted to me by my friend Claudia. This one is a magenta with like a ultraviolet or a violet shift, and it's really beautiful and really unique. Uh, from NYX, this is the Suede in Cherry Skies. I haven't used this in ages so i'm gonna pass it along and i also have the suede in lolita but i think this was quite a little bit more unique of a color to my collection but it's really similar to living legend so i'm gonna declutter that one as well these are very old kiko ones um 707 which is a bright I don't know, coral shade. Gonna get rid of that one, but actually trash because it's old. This is 703, which I believe is one of my favorite nude lip liners or like more, not nude, but my lips a bit better. So I'm keeping that one. 709, which is a pink, I would, I would say. It's funny how these are all completely discolored. I like to keep this pink. It looks cool. Oh no, and 704 was my favorite of these because it's a warm nude color. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, talking of warm nudes, I have a ton from ColourPop, like Brink, um, which is a quite nice one. The shade 951, nine, which is a bit of a cooler toned nude. Um, and then we go a little bit on the darker ones. This is BFF2 which is quite similar to Brink. Why do we have all these shades that are quite similar to each other? I don't understand. Then there's Good and Plenty. I got this, uh, all of these uh, in a set last year, by the way, all of the ColourPop ones. This is quite nice, more of like a mauve pink. And then this is Lovebug, my favorite color in ColourPop's lipstick history. Love this one for sure staying. And um, this one is Immortal by Neve Cosmetics, which is also kind of a mauve nude. I really like this one more than I like that ColourPop one, which was good and plenty, I believe. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um, Placebo by Nabla Cosmetics is a favorite, firm favorite of mine. Definitely keeping that one. 
and then we have blood by neve cosmetics which is a deeper red um, i think it's nice to have a red that is not warm so this is a bit cooler toned this is uh crimson or teatro by neve cosmetics that was my previous red we, you can see it how warm it is compared to uh, blood I don't know, I'll keep it just in case I want a, a, a red lip liner. My favorite from Neville Cosmetics is Confusion, which I use as a lipstick with a gloss on top a lot. It's just a terracotta shade. Um, these we swatched and we're keeping. This one we're keeping. Neville Cosmetics Incognito. This is a dual-ended um, big lip crayon. I haven't used it in so long, though. Um, it still works. This is a, like a lipstick side and more of a liner side. Beautiful shade. Keeping that one. This is a NYX in the shade Pumpkin. And I bought it because it was a orange, but I never use it. So I'm going to pass this one along. And here I have Mamacita, Dukes and Bullshit from Colourpop. Mamacita is a dark, dark, dark red. I tried panning it once, but I don't use liners enough. This one is um, Dukes, which they're very similar. Dukes is a bit more brown, but I don't need both. And Night Moth, I actually don't need any of these with Night Moth. I'm gonna pass these one along. And Bullshit is their black lip liner, and I'm keeping it because you never know when you need a black lip liner. So it is actually quite satisfactory, quite a nice clear out. I'm thinking, I'm just gonna take these liners off of my desk. It will give me a little bit of space and just keep them in here and in my drawer. And the lip liners need to be on my desk so that I remember to use them. Um, that's the way I am. This was the final declutter for this year. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am going to, now that I decluttered and most of my Black Friday um, orders have come in, I'm going to do my inventory and then get back to you at the beginning of next year to see the inventory for 2022 and how it changed from 2021. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I hope you will like this video and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.